Hi everyone and welcome to a special episode of Star Fit, your go-to celebrity fitness web series. Today we'll be taking a look at a few exercises that keep some of the hottest professional soccer players in top form. Our expert is American soccer pro Jimmy Conrad, who was regarded as one of the best defenders in all Major League Soccer during his 13-year career. Today you can find Jimmy as a host on YouTube's Kick TV. Take a look as Jimmy walks us through a few upper body, lower body and core workouts to gain that great soccer muscle tone. Hey Kim, thanks for having me on StarFit. These are just a few of the exercises that I've been doing over the years to help keep my body in shape while I was playing soccer. The best part, I still do these even though I'm retired and working for Kick TV. All right everybody, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do push-ups first. Here are five or six different variations that you can use to include in your set when you do this. First one's very simple, just do a pyramid. You're gonna go down one, and you're gonna hold for one. Go down two, and hold for two. Try to get up to five and work your way back down. It takes about 60 seconds, it's gonna hurt. If you wanna make it a little bit tougher, you can do the same thing, but now you're gonna add a pull. Pull up one with one arm, pull up with another. Usually you're holding maybe five to 10 pound weight. If you wanna get real tough, maybe 25 pounds. Same thing, go up to five, work your way back down. The next one is an airplane push-up. Come here, and you twist up, come back down, do the other side. Do about 20 of those, and you'll probably be cursing my name afterwards, and that's okay, I'm okay with that. And the last one is just some taps. You wanna come out and reach. What this does is stabilize your core, more of a full body push-up, which ultimately will help you burn more fat and get you a little bit leaner. Next up, the lower body. Much like the upper body, we're gonna incorporate all of our muscles, but we're gonna start in a lower body exercise. All of these things you can do at home. They're very easy, very simple, and they're gonna get exactly what you want out of them. One of the staples throughout my whole professional career was this one exercise called the golf squat. Okay, so I use the 40. People that are beginning, maybe just use 10 or 15. Make sure you get the technique down. What you wanna do is you hold the weight, 10 or 15 to start. Get down, make sure you squat low. And then when you pop up, you come up over your shoulders. It almost looks like a golf swing, hence why it's called the golf squat. Then you come down and you switch. You really want to make sure, though, you come up and over your shoulder because it's going to activate your whole core again and really get everything working together at the same time like you would if, if you were playing or doing any other kind of activity. So when he goes fast, it just looks like this. Maybe you do 10 to start and build yourself up to about 20. From there, you can do outside to in golf squats. So instead of starting in the middle, you start outside and you push into the middle. And it's just a different, different way to generate some power for the outside of your hips, because is where a lot of your action's happening too, so you wanna make sure they're not left out, because you're focusing a lot on your core in the middle. And then, one more step of that is, you do one-armed. So you start here, on the outside, and you just throw it up, slap it up at the top. Maybe do eight each side, and then you switch. But again, you wanna make sure you get up and over your shoulder so you're feeling it. Don't just start, stop here, because you're not really activating your core, and that's very important to this whole process. All right, everybody, this is my favorite time. We're doing the core, we're doing some planks. First one is just a standard plank, going straight on bent arms. It should look like this. I've got a little bit of a curved back. In a perfect world, it would be flat and straight. Hold it 30 to 30 seconds to a minute, and that should do the trick. After that, we're just gonna turn to our side. Same, arms bent, turn to one side, try to keep the side that's closest to the ground, a little bit arched. Don't make it flat, don't let it droop. Try to stay as high as possible. Get your arm up to make it a little bit more difficult. 30 to 60 seconds. If you did 60, you'd be a real champ. I usually do about 45. Then you switch and do the other side. That is it, that was my core workout. What? That was my whole workout. You got upper body, you got lower body, and you got some core. You pick one exercise from each of those groups that I showed you, you do it, I don't know, three or four times, you do that four times, you are gonna be flying. You can mix it up, you can change it any way you want, you can add reps, you can add weight, and it's a lot of fun and a lot different and a lot better than going into a gym and pulling on some weight. So, hopefully you got something out of this, and now it's back to you, Kim. Thanks, Jimmy, I'll definitely try those moves at home. Here's how you can remember what Jimmy just showed us. Here's another look at my upper body exercises. Give the pyramid a try, it is by far my favorite. For lower body exercises, make sure you add a throw to engage your core. And finally, add some planks to finish off your set. We'll see you next time on Starfit.